Radical. A uh, failsafe dictator told me that some craziness is happening right now. I don't know what Ars Technica released about the Amico, but Tommy tweeted at Ars Technic journalist Sam Red just illegally posted a bunch of confidential information about Intellivision in his ridiculous misinformed article. The private info had uh, not for public use and confidential all over it. Unfortunately, legal action will need to be taken. So, okay, some thoughts here. Uh, if he's going to be taking legal action against this person, did this person reveal things that actually, I mean, what was sent to this person? I don't know the details of this. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not doing my journalistic research. I don't have details of this, but I don't know. Like, I, I, I kind of want to know what's in here that is sue worthy. I mean, is this how this works right? Tommy's going to sue you if you reveal confidential information. Now, if it's one, it's one thing if maybe somebody actually did something and they got into Talarico Amico Studios or whatever it's called, and they got in there and got some information. Okay, I, I would see that. Maybe possibly, I mean, that would be messed up and wrong if somebody did that. Yeah. But let's say if it was accidentally revealed or I don't put it past maybe Team Amico for actually, you know, sending some stuff out there. And then it, I mean, what is it like a file or something that said not for public use and confidential? Um, uh, what's that word? What's that legal terminology? There's a legal word for it to where you get some documents and it has not for public use and confidential. Now, if you actually saw the document and it said not for public use and confidential and under it, you know, Tommy's going to get really mad and he's going to he's going to sue you if you reveal this, then probably the people would not reveal it. But it could be a situation to where whatever was revealed Maybe they didn't know was really bad, but painted the Amico in a bad light. And now maybe Tommy's rushing to send this stuff out to possibly scare people from talking about this Amico stuff. I don't know. Like, it's just uh, in any way, shape or form that you can look at it. It's just it's a bad look. So I think we're going to we're going to hold our breath. We're going to wait and I'm going to wait to see what OEB Pete says about this. All right. Okay. I want all of you to have Amico days. Uh, I don't know if OEB Pete's going to really jive with this. I can hear him whispering to himself right now about this, loudly whispering, Tommy, Tommy, I, I believe in you. Every day I wake up with Amico days, but I don't know if I can get behind this.